I'm Emily. I heard that waves exist everywhere, but what really are they? Can you explain the difference? Sincerely, Sabrina. Sabrina, a wave is a repeating disturbance that transfers energy through matter and space. Yeah, there are different types of waves. There are transverse, longitudinal, and mechanical waves. Most waves are categorized under electromagnetic or mechanical. Most electromagnetic waves don't need a medium to travel through. Those include sound and light waves. A transverse wave is when the particles in a medium move back and forth at right angles to a direction the wave travels, and a longitudinal wave is when matter moves back and forth in the medium along the same direction the wave travels. And the mechanical wave is a wave that can travel only through matter. An example of mechanical waves are seismic, sound, and ocean waves. A wave is made up of many parts. Two parts are the crest and the trough. The crest is the highest point of a wave and the trough is the lowest point of the wave. When using a slinky, you can see the rarefaction and compression taking place. You probably don't know what those two words mean. Rarefaction is the less dense region of a longitudinal wave where the coils are more spread apart and compression is the denser region of a longitudinal wave where the coils are more compressed together. Of course, waves also have a way to measure their distance. You can measure the wavelength of a transverse wave from crest to crest or trough to trough. You can measure the wavelength of a longitudinal wave from compression to compression or rarefaction to rarefaction. Going a little deeper, each wave has a different frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that pass a fixed point per second and they're measured in hertz. When a wave has a long wavelength, then its frequency is low. And when the wavelength is short, it has a higher frequency. Calculating frequency, Em? Yeah, it's so easier. Hurts. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, back to this. An example is during a baseball game, while you're in the bleachers, an instant after the batter swings, you hear the crack of the bat hitting the ball. Light waves and sound waves work together to deliver the sound. The speed of the wave depends through which medium it travels through. Along with traveling with the matter, waves also reflect off surfaces. Reflection occurs when a wave strikes an object and bounces off it. Sound, water, and light waves can be reflected. You think it's enough for one day? Yeah, I think 